Welcome back to Backyard Wrench Bender. At the end of the last video, I was gonna give this thing 24 hours to flash and then look into putting some paint down. And of course, naturally, 24 hours later, the weather dropped below 50 degrees and stayed that way for about a week. Well, now the weather's in my favor, so I think it's time to put some color down. Let's get to work. While the weather was cold, I did come back and get some practice on some wet sanding. It's not perfect because I started burning through the paint in some areas, so I didn't want to go too deep. But I did knock down some of that orange peel, and it should give me a little bit of a better finish to work with at the end. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is run some tape along the bottom here. Now that we've got it taped off to where we want it, I'm gonna take some bed liner and I'm coating from the tape down in bed liner. That way it gives me a little protection of rocks coming up and hitting the bottom of it and I don't have to worry about too much damage. roller in a bag so I'm gonna need this later this bag will help prevent it from drying out so I can continue using it when I'm ready all right here's the dilemma if you take the tape off too early you risk the bed liner losing its shape if you wait too long the tape is going to pull the bed liner up with it so you kind of have to judge for yourself when it's time to pull the tape off I'm not too concerned about it losing its shape because the solid line is above the liner. If the line was below the liner, I'd be worried about gravity pulling it down. But since it's above the liner, I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off now and hope it works out for me. Two thoughts I was having while I was pulling the tape off. One, have a trash bag handy. It just makes it easier, you pull it off, you throw it in the bag, you're done. Uh, second one, something I learned long ago and I did not apply it here and I should have. So when you lay your tape down, lay it down in a way so you pull one end and it just pulls it all the way to the end. Uh, the way I pull, put it down on this side, I ended up having to pull on three or four different spots. Now I still have a piece of tape stuck there that I'm going to have to get after I get these gloves off. So, but we need to let this tack up. So I'm going to go have lunch and we'll come back here in a few hours and we'll put some color down. It's been a few hours later and the bed liner has tacked up pretty good. So let me show you what we're using for paint. I'm going to use a tractor paint on the exterior of this. This is not a show car, so I wanted to go inexpensive, uh, but I wanted something that was going to be tough. And mixing this up is pretty much the same as the primer was. About 15% mineral spirits to thin it out, add the paint, then stir, 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 and you're ready to go. So, the next logical step to do is lay down the color. I did have a little trouble getting the paint to go down smooth. At the recommended 25 PSI, the paint wasn't coming out of the nozzle. I ended up having to raise the PSI to almost double to get it to come out. But since it was such a high pressure, the paint ended up having a splatter effect to it. So if I were a betting man, I'd guess that the 1.7 millimeter nozzle that came with the gun was just a bit too small. Or, and less likely because I followed the instructions on the can, the paint was not thinned out enough. But, 
As I've said previously, there's almost no consequences to me making mistakes on this build. It's a great learning opportunity, and in the end, as long as it's protected from the elements, the finish isn't all that important. Anyways, other than these issues, the process was easy and straightforward. I used an entire quart and was able to get down three coats. Now, you will notice I'm not painting the inside of the bed. That's because I'm going to come back later and put down some bed liner. Obviously, I don't want to waste paint on areas that just are going to be covered up anyways. And bed liner, at least the brand I got, will pull a fresh coat of paint up, causing the integrity of the bed liner to weaken. In the end, this took about six hours total. That's to include the lunch break I took while waiting for the bed liner to tack up. It would have gone a little faster, but because I had the pressure so high, I had to stop about every 10 minutes or so to let my little 17 gallon air compressor build back up. Overall though, the weather was nice and it wasn't a bad way to spend the afternoon. As you can see, the red ended up being a lot brighter than what the can had indicated. So not quite the color I was going for, but it'll do. And here's the final product. I should have spent more time sanding the primer because, as you can see, there is a lot of orange peel. That's going to take a lot of work to flatten out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.